Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valheim. I am the Radio Man 3 It is awesome to have you along. I mean that. It's Friday episode. We are, um, I want to build today. I want to build in today's episode, so I'm heading out to find some stone. Matter of fact, we'll take this one right here. First victim right there. Buying. Now I can get through here with the cart and grab these here blueberries. Hope everyone's doing great. I am doing fantastic. Of course, it's Friday. Uh-huh. Uh, no Saturday stream this week. I don't know. I may try on Sunday, but I don't know yet. Variety purchased a treadmill. That treadmill arrived today. It is 340 pounds. <laughs> and I get to put it together. Hey, this is my new mace. Look at there. Yeah, uh -huh. Thank you. I was going to make a new torch at home, but then I thought, why would I do that? When, yep, come here. Come here. You want to fling that stuff over here? Come here. Oh, got another one. Pink. Woohoo. Look at that. It's like, it's just, oh. It's like throwing a big chunk of metal at somebody. It's just boom. Let's grab this rock right here too. So I want to build today. I want to work on that wall a little bit more and kind of figure out what I'm going to do with that that build part that we've got started. We've got to get it worked out. So that's what I'm going to do today. I want to, I want to build today. Uh, I've just detached myself from the cart. We'll just throw this stuff in here now. We can collect it. Boom. There we go. All right, let's, um, I, I'm going to actually head down the shore. So, most of these rocks I will leave put. I am also going to hunt. I just realized I should be, I made a few wood arrows so I can, uh, you know, hunt the deer. Got to stock the meat up. We're using it, um, faster now. Killed the second deer. Where is it? Uh, it was mentioned in the comments last episode that I need to get that banded shield going. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I do. I want the banded shield. I want to get us the iron axe. we got to get all the good iron stuff, you know, like we have now in the bronze. Um, yeah, see, I dug that out right there. That's, that's my work right there. I'm just trying to look for my next source of stone. And we've been digging around here a bit already. Oop, troll. That's a troll. Let's get the card out of there. You see me? I don't know if you saw me. He's got the big stick, huh? Yeah. The one with the big stick. I'll go ahead and shoot him. The other one? I've tried to find a couple of times. It's amazing how they can disappear. I see him. Right in the face. Right in the armpit. Boink. Nice. A little bit of gold. He had a little bit of gold in his little butt flap there. I got it. It's mine now. Uh, cart. Where'd I put it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a workbench over here. <laughs> oh, this is where I was last. Okay. I started digging here before. Oh, man. Dang it. Oh. I started digging there before, so okay, that's where I need to get to. Where is the cart? I put it down here on shore. There it is. You could eat another bite, as always. All right, that was nice and easy. Let me get over here. I've got a workbench and everything set up. I totally forgot about this side. I should probably check my map. There's probably a marker and everything here for it. But the Elder Monument is right there, so we're not very far from home at all. I've been kind of, you know, just moving along really, really slow. But yeah, that's right, I forgot I had this set up over here. Do that right there, and we'll uh, we'll get to doing some mining here. i got a bunch of stuff in my inventory I can put away. 
Now we got no room for a stone. Because all the other goodness happened. It's okay. That's a great problem. Half a stack of uh, thistle. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to get back to work in this area. It looks like we got some more thistle right over there. Uh, I should probably put a campfire down here, too. I'll get some stone, and we'll do that. What do we have for stone now? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, four stacks, that's it, huh? Well, that isn't anything at all. Um, let's put that in our inventory. Put those in our inventory, the plants, and then we got a little more space. But yeah, I've got to find more than that. I would like to get maybe half a cart full of it, and then that could keep us busy for a little while. And then I've, I've got to try to find time sometime over the weekend to uh, do a little bit more of this grind work, too. But this is actually um, used up here. This might be stone up here. Let's go take a look at this up here. Here we go. All right, here we go. I was beginning to think I was going to have to walk forever to get this stone for today's episode. <laughs> but I think we've got a nice little chunk right here. All right, so I'm going to get started on mining this one now next, and then uh, that should give us enough stone to kind of get a, a much better idea as to what we want to do in that area uh, where the forges are, the furnaces, forges, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to find, uh, yeah, this is where we'll use them. All right, let me get set up, and then we'll get to digging. We can drop that in there for now. A little bit of stone, get a couple campfires going. Oh, that's, that's me on fire. There we go, that's better. Now the stone's starting to come in a little bit. The ground is shaking. Oops. Not good. Not good. It's over. <sighs> that did not work. I did not block that, and it killed me. Oh, man, it just killed me. I, I don't have my uh, bronze armor on right now. I have the uh, lighter armor on. Whew. Do they stay over there? They just I think they disappear, don't they? <laughs> I think they disappear. Holy moly. I didn't know that's I've never had that happen to me out in uh the wild. That's the first time that's happened. I was like, oh my god, do I gotta get back to base? And then I realized, no, it's right here where you're standing. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um so yeah, that was uh that was something right there. Whew. Uh I've almost got the stone I'm looking for. I think I'm going to try to break up just a little bit more of it, and then uh, the pick is just about shot, too, so. But the cart's full, and my inventory is going to be almost full, too, so uh, it was a good run out, for sure. And we'll take this stone, and we'll build with it right when we get back. Oh, man. That made my hand shake. I know. I know. Still. Still the trolls get me. Oh, that's it for the pick. Okay, we head back. Uh, I need to mark this place, too, before we head in. Or head back, I should say. Okay, I have tended to the farms. 
food is growing, seeds are planted, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, I am going over to the keep now to uh, take a look at what we've got going on over there and see if we can work out one of the suggestions that came in about uh, turning the other side of the dock into, instead of a wall, just um, a, an extra piece of dock. So let's, uh, let's see. I'm not quite sure what we're dealing with, but something over here. So uh, this ship here is pulled up next to that side. Well, we, we actually utilize that side for that ship. I like having this done. What is this? This block just looks very different to the other ones, doesn't it? It's just darker gray, it seems like. Um, <laughs> hmm. Well. So we have to bring all this down. And what I'm wondering too is do I have room for my pathway to kind of cut through here? And I really don't because I've got the kiln here. This is kind of uh, the end of the dock. So I don't know that I'm going to do that. But I see what you're saying because, yeah, we could have made this side. Uh, you pull a ship up next to this side here and then jump out on this side. Well, I have to take a row off of here. could be done. I just don't want to lose that front there, that height over there on the front. And then how am I going to get the materials from here, from this side over to that side? You know, it, the, the, the route I'd want to take is right here. I'd want to turn and go this way. You know, we can make that turn. But then what do we do with the kilns? Because we've kind of got them set up on these platforms here. I like the way they sit up here. And I know we got like a blast furnace or something, and I'm hoping maybe it can fit in something like this area right here, or we'll we'll make another separate little place for it. I don't see myself being able to, even wanting to really move all of this around to do that. Uh, the other solution is I come down this way, and um, we go out this way two more blocks and down, and we make kind of an indoor path here. I was thinking we might... Uh, oh, there we go. We might use this back area here as our wall. Instead of jutting this out like I was talking about, this is pretty mucky and marshy right down here. So I thought if we did something, what we could do is we could take our two-way and bring it right down here. And then from here, go across this way and then meet up where the uh, gatehouse is going to be up in this area. And then have this kind of open it's something things can walk onto and get onto and trolls can stand on, but at the same time, it'd be kind of nice to have just a little piece of the island still visible instead of completely outlined. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Just to have a little bit of nature here. Uh, I think I want to do that. And then when we go this way, we can meet up, like I said, with the gatehouse, and then we've got our keep, you know, up in this area here. Uh, it's getting dark. So... If that's the case, we really could. What we're going to have to wind up doing is dragging the stuff all the way down and then down this corridor here. Because this is going to have to go out two more blocks and then a, a wall. That I'm willing to do. And then... And then what? When I come through, I guess I could pick any kind of a gap I want to to get through here. And we might have to move the furnaces over a little bit to give us this two-way path here so that when I come down, I can just do a simple little turn like this or so, and boom, I'm on my way over this way. Yeah. Okay, so that is kind of the picture in my head. We can do that. We can do that. And then we'll have to... Uh, hollow out the channel a little bit more there too for the ship to be able to pull in. It's a morning deer hunting. Oh yeah, got it. Got it right here from the balcony of our bedroom at the moment. <laughs> I know. Oh, how crazy is that, huh? Someone was watching an earlier episode and said, hey, get those yellow mushrooms. You can put them on stands and, and uh, you know, use them for like night lights and stuff. And, oh yeah, we've got ideas for these guys here. Yeah. So that's how I replied back. I said, oh, yep. 
we, we got that one worked out. We got some mushrooms glowing on some stands. Yeah, right there. Boom. You know what? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you someday. I'll just show you someday. I know, right? Get it started and cut it off like that? Oh, rude. My, I'm concerned about, I believe the height of this floor is the same as over here. And I don't want to bring it down. Yeah, but, well. Yeah, it's right here. It's a whole block above, a half a block higher than that is. If I take this out, is this low enough for the ship? I mean, I don't know. It seems like I'm quite a height above the ship. At this level here. It's almost like I need to take one more out. And that means I gotta dig all this out as well. I don't know that I wanna do that. Um, missing required workstation. Huh. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't, I feel like if I'm in the ship, in order to get out of the ship and onto that side of the dock, I'm going to have to jump. Like right here, we're, we're pretty, I mean, this is, this is right here, but this is up a block higher, a half a block higher. Is it possible for us to do some kind of a wooden thing that would hang out over this? But then I gotta put a roof on it. I really didn't want to put a roof on anything here either. But that could also look kind of cool. Welcome back. I hate to tell you this. Microphone uh, cut out. I know. I think it's time to uh, invest maybe into another one of the exact same microphone I have. Because for some reason, either that or it's OBS. Because for some reason it, it just shuts off on its own. It's really weird. Uh, especially when I'm logging in and out of the game, it seems to happen. But I've got some work done, and we did some work together. Let me show you what we did. We worked from the ship today. Uh, we've got a bit of a wood dock out here. This is going to have to probably come down one more, so it overlaps one here too. Uh, but we've got ourselves a bit of a wood dock, so what we can do is we can actually sail our ship in now, and we'll keep ourselves closer to this right here, and then I'll figure out how I'm going to go ahead and go up onto this. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Just like we have over at the farm, we'll just do kind of a ladder step here, and up we go, and we're in here. Now the cart, of course, we need room for the cart, so we're going to be able to roll the cart down. This is going to go out two more, two more of these blocks out, boom, boom, two more. And then we're going to do our wall along this edge here. And keep kind of a bit of our forest, uh, forest over here. In this area, we've got ourselves a path now, uh, so we can bring our cart through here. And drop it off right here. And of course, we're going to have ourselves a bit of a forge area in here. And we move the kilns. The kilns are now a little bit tighter, closer together right here. But that's okay. And so are the forges. But we can reach everything just fine uh, all the way around. That stair that was right here, I removed that stair. Uh, you won't really be able to go back in here. Uh, we could probably put some sort of an access point. Uh, you know what we could do? We could do a stair right here, an access point to get behind the kilns and the furnaces if we needed to, right here. And then, like I said, this is going to go out and down too, and then it's going to go over this way. And we are... Oh. Okay, why can't I jump up here? I've done it a million times. There we go. And we'll do two across here, and then we'll go ahead and go down this way and meet up with our gatehouse down there and get started on the bridge and the gatehouse and stuff. Uh, eventually here. Um, so I still have some more stone left, but now we've got a nice pathway here that's going to go down and around the outside of this, and then our wall will be kind of, just be continuous like this down to here. Now this is going to sit a little bit higher than what this is. Well, I guess it's not. Yeah, it is. It's about a half block higher, but really I don't need to. This is going to be all kind of one, one unit through here. We'll do the same height all the way through here. And then uh, seal it off, and then we'll be standing on top of that to fight the trolls and things as they come in when the ground is a shaken. Uh, and then we're going to meet up. With, we're going to have to work on meeting up with this guy right here, too, uh, to make it look like it just, you know, it fits. So that's not going to be any big deal either, I don't think. Um, and that's kind of what I've got worked out so far. It, it gives me a lot more structure here to add, uh, 
you know, a few more pillars. I think I'll put up another pillar right here, too. And then, uh, you know, we'll tie it all together. We'll find a way to tie it all together. Uh, put a nice, uh, probably a wood walkway in between just to kind of save us the stone gathering. And the wood looks nice anyways. Um, and give us a wood walkway up there to walk on. Trolls break it and stuff, no big deal. It's just wood to replace it. That's not going to be that big a deal. But it was a suggestion to do that. And I thought it was a good suggestion. So there we go. We've got a dock on that side for the long ship. And then we could fit the little ships in here just fine. Just fine. Uh, without any worries at all. Uh, so I lost about an hour worth of footage with us working on this together. So I really apologize for that. I'm going to have to be really careful about it in the future. Because, yeah, this is... This has happened to me a couple of times now, and uh, it's it's catching me off guard. I need to be a little more on guard. But what do you think? Uh, arches, I know. We've got quite a few of them. We're going to have quite a few more. But I think in the long run, it's going to look really nice in here. And um, give us kind of a, I don't know if a catacomb feel. Just, you know, these causeways and stuff are fun to have. And I like the idea of having this dock over here that we can drive our cart up to. It'll be handy. Uh, especially getting the oars and stuff out. This is a little bit higher here, and I may take these guys out and put a half block underneath this one right here and take this out and just turn this into some... This could actually be some storage right here if we wanted it to be in this area right here. So we've got some more options with the uh, changing of the dock now. We've got a lot more options, I feel like, in this area. So I hope you guys like the changes. It, it, it's coming along. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a very, very, very extended series. It's going to take a long time to build what I'm thinking about building. So uh, I'm glad you guys are in for the long haul. If you enjoyed the episode, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man Zero 3. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.